Now to the war in Ukraine, where Russian forces are escalating their attacks with hundreds of missile and drone strikes raining down across the country overnight. The deadliest attack taking place in the central city of Poltava, where at least 51 people were killed and more than 200 others wounded. CBS's Ian Lee has reported from Ukraine's front lines over the last month and has the latest tonight. Cadets were gathering at this military academy Tuesday morning when two Russian ballistic missiles hit. There was little time between the air raid siren and explosions for people to take cover. The strike killed dozens, injured hundreds more, and left many trapped under the rubble. This soldier called home, letting his family know he's alive. Russia has stepped up its bombardment of Ukraine in recent days. More than 300 strikes in the last 24 hours alone. Artillery destroyed this hotel in Zaporizhia, killing a 38-year-old woman and her 8-year-old son. While a missile slammed into a shopping center in Kharkiv, another hitting an apartment building and a nearby playground. A frustrated Ukrainian president demanded the world send help. Air defense systems and missiles are needed in Ukraine, not in a warehouse somewhere, he said. Long-range strikes that can defend against Russian terror are needed now. Ukraine is holding ground in Russia's Kursk region. And it has advanced weapons to hit critical targets deeper into the country, including the bases housing the jets launching the missiles. But Western countries who have donated them, including the U.S., are saying no, fearing Russia's reaction. So Ukraine's left with its own long-range drones. Over the weekend, Kyiv managed to hit a power plant and oil refinery in Moscow on President Vladimir Putin's doorstep. And tonight, National Security Council spokesman John Kirby said the attack in Poltava was another horrific reminder of Putin's brutality, adding the U.S. will send more military aid to Ukraine in the coming weeks. Maurice? Ian Lee in London tonight. Thank you.